Hi, thanks for joining me. Today we are going to go over the Avaya Oceana Channel Exclusivity and Interruptibility Features. My name is Shelly Shaffrey. I am part of the Avaya Professional Services Department that deploys Oceana. All right, so channel exclusivity and interruptibility are two optional configurations. They can be turned on at any time during your deployment or day two operations. It's not something that is service affecting. Channel exclusivity allows agents to work on one channel at a time. So if you're configured for voice, chat, and SMS, your agent would receive an SMS message because it's the first in queue, and then they would not receive a chat or a voice call even though they were waiting in queue. So it's one channel at a time. Channel interruptibility is a little different. What that allows you to do is have agents that can be interrupted by specific channels. So I could say a voice call could interrupt a chat or maybe an SMS could interrupt an email. These are configurable by channel. Now exclusivity and interruptibility are considered opposite configurations. You can only have one on at a time per user template. Now these are Oceana user templates. So what that means is it's not a system level setting. It could be deployed to a specific team or a specific group of agents, specific line of business. So you could have one group doing exclusivity, another one doing interruptibility, or another group doing interruptibility in a different form where different channels can interrupt each other. Okay, so let's look at the configuration. So you would need to be logged in as an administrator to the Avaya Aura Control Manager. That's what we're looking at right now. The path that you'd be looking at would be Home, Resource Managers, Templates, Oceana User Templates. You can always use that search bar if you don't want to follow the little mapping path. Okay, there is a plus sign here. That's where you would click to create your user template. First thing you're going to do is give your template a name. Now, if you're doing exclusivity, which is the first one we're looking at, all you need is this little checkbox here. There's no other configuration you have to do to turn it on for this particular template. At that point, you would hit the Save button and continue on. We're going to look at the interruptibility configuration, so we're going to make a second test template that is set as interruptibility. So for interruptibility, a few things you have to think about first. You really need to lay out how you want it to work, what channels can interrupt what, if you don't have that laid out before you start the configuration, you're not going to get very far. Okay, So we are still in the Avaya Aura Control Manager. We are still in a user template, so we're just creating a new user template. Again, we will not put exclusivity on. If you click this, this interruptibility fields will become grayed out. You can't have both on at the same time. So when you look at this channel interruptibility setting, you have incoming contact here. So this is the contact that the agent would be being presented with, and this is the current contact they are on. Just think of it that way, and it's a little easier to see the configuration. So again, you would give it a template name, and then you would turn on your interruptibility settings. So let's look at our example. We are looking at chat can interrupt SMS, but SMS cannot interrupt chat. So what we would do is we would turn on chat here, because chat can interrupt whatever channel it has. If there's a voice call, if there's an email, chat could interrupt any of those. That's what we're doing. SMS, on the other hand, is not going to be interrupting any channels. So all we're going to put on is a checkbox for SMS, so it knows we should be looking at the interruptibility feature. The rest we will leave unchecked. So now we've made our templates. Now you need to actually assign your template to the user that you're trying to edit. So you would go path home users still in control manager. You're going to pick the user you're interested in. Select the Avaya Oceana tab. Select the template from the drop down. So whether you want the exclusivity template or the interruptibility template to apply to this agent, you would pick it from the drop down. Now this change will take effect the next time they log in. That template isn't going to take effect the second you put it on if they're already in. It'll be the next time they log in, they'll pull the new template down. All right, so let's take a quick look at this in action. So I have my agent logged in. I have my SMS message. 
And remember from our configuration, SMS, we're looking at interruptibility right now, would be able to be interrupted by a chat. So here's my SMS. We're going to put in a chat. Back to my agent. And I've received my chat because SMS is able to inter be interrupted by chat. So that worked perfectly, exactly as we expected it to. So I'm going to close out my SMS and leave my chat up and running. Now what I'm going to do is put a new SMS into queue. I should not receive this new SMS because chat is not interruptible by that channel. So we're going to put in a second message. And if we watch, I will not receive that message, even though I am skilled and staffed for it and perfectly able to do it. My channel is green. I could receive it, except that I have interruptibility set on. And I said that chat cannot be interrupted by SMS. So as soon as I close out this chat, so I'm going to end it, I should get presented with the SMS that's waiting in queue. So that's how interruptibility works. Exclusivity is going to look very similar where you're only working one channel at a time. So if I was on SMS and a chat came into queue, I could not be presented with that chat until I had closed out the SMS. I hope this has been helpful. Thank you for watching. If you have any questions or any feedback, you can contact us through the options you see here on the screen. I do recommend you looking at some of the other features uh, such as reserve agents, which are part of the same user profile configuration and can be used in conjunction with interruptibility or exclusivity. Thank you so much.